What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my very first Pokemon Scarlet and Violet guide. Now if I'm low energy it's because I have done nothing and I repeat nothing except for play this game since probably 1am last night. Not even 1am, uh, like 11pm, like I've just been non-stop grinding this game except for like a 5 hour nap I took. So. That being said, I'm still playing the game, but uh, that doesn't mean that I can't actually take a look at these stats of the Pokemon that have already been officially announced and actually give some Moosec guides to you guys. Uh, and while I do know every Pokemon in the game at this point, I will say that we're going to start off doing moveset guides for things like Cyclozar, which is today's, uh, Satitan, uh, Ferrigarath, the things that are already announced, because uh, I'm going to wait a couple of days to get to the stuff that isn't officially announced, uh, so I avoid spoiling people. I'm just trying to be considerate. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, now, Cyclozar is the dragon normal type that was revealed pretty early in the trailers, uh, and it's a really cool Pokemon. So it has this exclusive move called Shed Tail, which will allow it to uh, cut half of its HP and in place uh, make a substitute that uses half of the HP. I can't stress like that part enough. It's actually a very bulky substitute. Uh, and then it automatically switches out, giving that substitute to whichever Pokemon comes in. This move is busted for singles, and I think that it can actually have a place in VGC, which is why we're gonna talk about it today. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the first uh, move set. But actually, let's talk stats, what am I saying? <laughs> it's got 70 HP, 95 attack, 65 defense, 85 special attack, 65 special defense, and 121 speed. Now that 121 speed tier is very good. That means that you're naturally outspeeding things like uh, Tornadus. Um, I believe you're slightly slower than things like Noivern, but also just being above that like 110 speed tier is really all, you, it's all you need to be to be like a really good support Pokemon. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I think the only things it really has to contest with as far as speed goes is you're under speeding one of those uh, new dark type legendaries that I'm not going to say the name of, but uh, you get outsped by that one. Uh, but beyond that, you're, you're basically at the top of the speed tier. Like, I think the only relevant thing you actually have to think about is like Dragapult. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's got 95 attack, which isn't that great. Uh, and it actually lacks really good setup moves. It does have shift gear, but I don't actually recommend that for the most part. I think this is gonna be more of like a fast support mon. Uh, and as far as like special attack goes, you know, all dragon types have decent special move pools. And while 85 isn't like the worst special attack, I will say you won't really wanna lean into that too much, but yeah, and Dragon Normal, obviously, it's it's a pretty decent typing. You're weak to fighting, you're immune to ghost and I think that's your only immunity, yeah. Uh, and as far as the dragon type weaknesses, uh, you're gonna be weak to ice and dragon and fairy. So uh, while these are pretty decently common typings in VGC, uh, I do think that that ghost immunity is actually pretty decent considering how good ghost types are. So let's get into the first move set. The way that I tend to do these move set guides is I like to start off with what I call my splashable move set, and then I do my personal favorite move set, and then I do the fun move set that I don't always recommend, but you might get away with. So for the splashable move set, we're gonna go with the uh, Focus Sash set. Now this one doesn't take advantage of Shed Tail, but this is like a move set you can use if you just want like a general attacker. Uh, and I will say this is a pre-meta look at a Pokemon, which means that we won't get too specific with EVs that you know, oh, you need to be like this exact speed tier to outspeed this very specifically good mon. Like we don't know that yet. So this is like a first cursory glance at this Pokemon. Um, you're gonna be using the uh, Focus Sash, the ability Regenerator. You're gonna have max speed with the Jolly Nature, max attack and four HP. And your moveset is going to be Dragon Claw, U-Turn, Knockoff and Protect. Now, this is not a very bulky Pokemon. Like that's why it's a good Focus Sash user. Uh, you're, you'll be able to like eat one Terrastalized hit from pretty much any Pokemon. And by the way, Terrastalization is like not really a thing I would recommend for this Pokemon. If you needed Terrastalize into anything, all of these move sets, I'm gonna recommend just Terror Dragon. That's, that is my recommendation. Uh, you don't wanna Terror this Pokemon. It just does not seem to be worth it in any case. Uh, but yeah, because it's like not a good offensive Pokemon, but this is an offensive set. So we're gonna run Dragon Claw, U-Turn, Knock Off, Protect. Why is this a decent move set for it? Well, for one, uh, while we are lacking normal stab, that isn't the most important thing considering one of the stronger normal moves that this Pokemon gets is like Body Slam, which yeah, you don't wanna run that too often. Uh, but Dragon Claw is fairly okay Dragon Stab for doubles. Uh, it's 80 base power, obviously with Stab that becomes 120 base power. Uh, you have Knock Off, which is actually not a super well distributed move that has high value. 
because what it is is a uh, dark type move with 65 base power that will remove the opponent's item and get a 50% boost in power if it does remove an opponent's item, uh, and then it goes back to 65. So you can use this sort of thing to remove choice specs, to remove... Uh, not focus sashes because you're dealing damage, but you'll remove like safety goggles, you'll remove berries. It's a very good tool, and especially in best of three VGC, knockoff is your best friend because it's not only a tool for dealing damage and removing items, but it's a tool that I like to call an information tool. If you're in a situation where you have a Cyclozar versus three Pokemon, and two of those Pokemon revealed their items and one of them has not, Go ahead, take that last turn before you lose and knock off that Pokemon's item and find out what it is. So going into game two, you know what it is like. That is the value of this move. Uh, also, it's just generally pretty strong. Uh, but yeah, uh, with U-Turn, actually, Cyclozar isn't a bad lead. Uh, you can get faked out. Obviously, that is a thing that most Pokemon can do. If you want to run Covert Cloak, go for it. It blocks fake out um, or it blocks fake out flinches. So that's kind of cool. But I recommend Focus Sash generally. Uh, and U-Turn will allow you to um do something really cool so the focus sash is especially good on this guy because when you combo it with regenerator if you get any kind of chip damage like let's say that like hail chipped you two turns ago and you're above 70 health uh 70 percent health you can u-turn out and go back to full health and then you have another opportunity to use that focus sash also just generally speaking u-turn plus regenerator is one of the best combos in the game uh so that's just like a really nice tool for this sort of pokemon but yeah this is the splashable move set there isn't much to go into it's a normal dragon type you're gonna hit opposing dragon types decently hard like you outspeed garchomp but you're probably not gonna one shot it so maybe just dragon claw it when it's at like 50 percent health or lower and then you ko it you take the rough skin damage and then you u-turn to heal that off and then you have your focus sash back that's the general way this pokemon's gonna play for the next set which is what i would refer to as my personal favorite or the set that i find to be the best uh is gonna be a shed tail set now like I stated earlier, Shedtail uses half of your HP to make a substitute. That is very, very bulky. Most Pokemon don't use half of their HP. The move Substitute uses one fourth of your HP. So the way that Substitute works is you take that HP, you manifest this creepy little doll, we'll call him Frederico, and you put Frederico on the field uh, and he takes damage for you. He makes you immune to anything that isn't a sound-based move or an infiltrator move. Uh, so that means that you're immune to like intimidate, sleep powder, all those sort of things. Uh, any stat drop that isn't based off a of sound like scrowl, sound like scrowl, sound like growl or uh, snarl. I like mixed three words together, but yeah, it's a very useful move and shed tail taking half your ver HP to do that is very big. But not only that, but it also switches you out and grants that giant HP uh, substitute Frederico to the Pokemon that's coming in. There are many Pokemon that, co that can combo into this, but we'll get into the most important one of those in a second. The rest of the set is basically just gonna be Citrus Berry with that Regenerator ability, because it combos with Shed Tail very good. Obviously, every time you Shed Tail, you get a third of your HP back. Uh, and uh, the moves are U-Turn, Knock Off, Taunt. So the stats on this guy are gonna be 244 HP, 12 attack or 12 defense. You can put it wherever you really want to. I'd recommend the attack so you're not like hitting things with a wet noodle. Uh, and you're gonna run max HP, uh, max speed with the Jolly Nature. Uh, so yeah, basically the whole gist of this thing is you are one of the most annoying Pokemon ever. You go ahead and you lead off with this Pokemon. Uh, you go for a Shed Tail, eating half of your HP. And then when you go down to half HP, Cyclozar is going to eat a Citrus Berry, which will regen... Um, 25% of your health. So that puts you up to uh, 75%. And then you switch out getting the next Pokemon back in. And when you switch your Cyclozar back in when it needs to come back in, because you were at 75% health when you left the field, the Regenerator will top you back off at 100. Now, this only works to put you back up to full health once because of um, the Citrus Berry. So once that Citrus Berry is gone, the next time that you do this cycle, uh, your Cyclozar is going to go down to half health and then switch out and then come back in with 80%. And then it goes and then, you know, it takes 50% of the health again. Your Cyclozar goes down to 30% health. Uh, and then it goes back up to 60 when it comes back out. And you do this, I think that's like the last time you can actually do it. No, you can go down to 10%. So you get like 
three or four of these maximum. That's a very broken thing. And the reason this is very broken is because of the Pokemon that Cyclozar can combo into. The one I'm going to recommend the most is going to be Azumarill. Now, the reason Azumarill is actually a very good Cyclozar partner is because Cyclozar is a normal and dragon type. And Azumarill is a fairy and water type. Everything that Cyclozar is weak to, uh, ice, fighting, not fairy, fairy's neutral, but uh, fairy, dragon, Azumarill can switch into very easily, and it's a very bulky Pokemon with access to Belly Drum, and uh, of course the uh, terrifying Aqua Jet, and it has the ability Huge Power. If you know how Azumarill works, basically you get the Azumarill in, and then you Belly Drum, and then you Aqua Jet, and you win. But the thing with this is, the, uh, the Azumarill no longer is weak to uh, Spore. It can't be Spored behind that substitute, and it gets in for free. It's basically a, a free switch into an Azumarill, that may get off a belly drum, and if your opponent fails to KO the, the Fred Rico on the field in front of this thing, then the Azumarill can just get out of control. So yeah, uh, but yeah, obviously there are a lot of things that you can combo with Cyclozar with. I'm just listing Azumarill specifically because I think it's one of the highest potential ones, uh, but you can combo this with, uh, I don't know, like a, a, a Titan if you really feel like it. I don't know, like just there's there's a lot of potential for this, uh, but that's the Shed Tail Strat. Uh, beyond that, uh, like I said, you only have 12 attack, but you can still make use of things like knockoff as a support tool. Uh, U turn to get in and out of the field in case uh, you make a bad lead. And also you can use that just to regenerate a few times. You can shed tail, right? But next time you come back in, instead of shedding your tail again, you can just U turn back out and then get back to full health. This thing has insane potential as far as just passing annoying shed tails is. Uh, so yeah. Uh, and of the final move I'm going to recommend is actually going to be taunt. Uh, Taunt is a relatively good support move. You're 121 base speed. You can prevent trick rooms of that thing. Uh, you can prevent encores, any support move, any non-damaging move. You just prevent it. So yeah, very cool tool. And the final set that I call the fun set uh, is Shift Gear. Now, this is a set that is probably not that good, but it's basically the exact same as the Focus Sash set. Uh, but instead of running a uh, Protect and U-Turn, uh, we're just running Shift Gear and uh, Body Slam because we want to deal maximum damage with this guy. And this is going to be the only time I recommend you would uh, terrestrialize this thing. If you manage to get a Shift Gear off, which is going to give you plus two speed and plus one attack, you're outspeeding basically everything in the game at that point. Uh, go ahead and hit him with like a Terra Normal or a Terra Dragon move. Who cares? Have fun with it. But yeah, uh, that's going to be my basic moveset guide for Cyclozar. Like I said, it's a pre-meta game look at this thing, uh, but I think that this has potential to be one of the most busted Pokemon we've ever seen if people play it right. I will say that like it is, you can get into a situation where it's like, oh, I'm basically playing with three Pokemon because my Cyclozar is dead weight. Be careful with that. Uh, but this thing can enable some busted strategies if you, um, if you uh, play it right. So yeah. Uh, I would recommend running it next to a Moongus or Clefairy if that's in the game. I'm actually not sure if Clefairy is in the game. Let me check. It is not. A Moongus. A Moongus is a good partner. But yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I'm going to bring you guys a lot of moveset guides in the next few days. I'm going to try to make two today. I'll probably cover Satitan after this. Um, but yeah, this was Cyclozar. Subscribe. We're almost at uh, 50,000. Uh, have a nice one. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.